let's see. Uh, that's another oh, it is a good size sheep's head. Real good. All right, bros, here we go. We're gonna now clean these sheep's head. These are a very, very weird fish to clean because this looks like a cut, but this is where their fins go. So you gotta make sure you get right above that. So it's gonna be similar to any other fish that we, we fillet. We're gonna come in right behind these fins. Going all the way down until we reach that backbone. And then we're gonna get our knife. Let's see, let's put these to the side. So you got a better view. We're gonna then get our knife up against that backbone and go over all the way down. And then get back in there. Gonna find those ribs, keep going, and come up through the other side and stay above that back. Feel that there. Just gonna come in right in here. Left out all this rib cage. This is gonna be a boneless and skinless fillet. Let's keep that towel down. That towel is just there for protection. So I don't have to do a whole bunch of cleaning because I have a lot of fish to fillet. That's gonna be it. Still have a few pin bones right in here that we could come in and just take out. But that's going to be your sheep's head fillet. I'll do the other side, do the other four that we caught. And we'll be on our way. Rose, welcome to the kitchen. And here goes nothing. This is going to be my first time trying some blackened sheep's head. And we got a good old seasoned cast iron skillet here. We're going to be doing some minced garlic and butter blackened sheep's head. So first thing we're going to start with is adding a little bit of butter to our cast iron with some garlic getting those seasonings and flavors all you know together let them fall in love and then we're gonna get to our tilapia adding it in the pan so here we go i'm actually gonna season the tilapia first i don't know what i was thinking thinking i was gonna do the butter first but that butter was gonna burn so we're gonna hit this tilapia with a little bit of salt first and then on each side, we're gonna go ahead and dress it with this blackened seasoning. And you know, you gotta, gotta put a lot, they say just drench it. Drench it in this seasoning, so. All right, now for the other side. Once again, get a little bit of salt. Get your blackened seasoning all over. All right, our fish is ready. Now we're gonna get our cast iron. We've got it on medium high heat and we're gonna get it going. Gonna drop in some garlic. Get a little bit of butter going. All right, we're gonna put a, just a tad bit of oil. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot.
Then a little bit of butter. Almost forgot a little bit of our garlic. And then we're gonna drop our fish in. Ooh, you saw that? Don't do that. And then we're just gonna saute it. We can go ahead and add a little bit more butter in through there as needed. Gonna let it cook. Give them a flip. And that's what you wanna see right there. But that's what we want to look at. That's how we want it to, to be. I'm going to get these plated up. And served up with some avocado toast and sun-dried tomatoes on a Hawaiian roll. Let me yeah. know what you think. Yummy. Thanks for tuning in to the Adventure Bro Show. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're gonna finish this dinner.